Welcome to the Hear My Heart broadcast where I talk about the matters of the heart. You can't understand a person without getting to the root, which is hearing them. I am your host, Tiffany Rochelle, affectionately known as the People's Cheerleader. Here's something I want to share about me. I'm an author, a speaker, a heart and a motivational coach, and I'm so excited that you've tuned in and we have the opportunity to grow together. I'm here to encourage and motivate you to be the best you ever. If you're feeling a little stuck or stagnated or you're having a hard time getting over some things, please know you're not alone and that you've come to the right place and you're listening to the right person to help you through that. So let's dive into today's show of Hear My Heart. Here we grow. Hey, y'all. Okay, I am not the singer. I never will be. I can't hold a note unless it's written on a piece of paper. But nevertheless, I always got to come up with something in the beginning, whether it's, hey, hello, 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 hello. There, I mean, there's a whole bunch of hellos, you know, like I'm leading the singing to the person that's that's getting ready to come to the forefront. Nevertheless, I am Tiffany Rochelle. I am the people's cheerleader. Uh, affectionately known as the people's cheerleader. Okay. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm so grateful that you decided to stop in and share some of your precious time that is non-refundable with your girl and my very special VIP on today. But before I get started with any introductions and before any of this goodness gets started, guess what I need you to do? <laughs> I need you to show me that you care and share this particular program so somebody's life can be enhanced, somebody's life can be brought a little joy, okay? <laughs> so with that being said, show me you care and share uh, this particular show with somebody else. Somebody, I should say. Nevertheless, I am going to share with you my VIP. He is the man of excellence here with me, okay? And I count it a privilege and an honor to know him, okay? Um, I'm interviewing somebody that I feel is super spectacular. He is so, so very talented. He is a musician. He is a singer. He is a songwriter. He's an arranger. He's a producer. Listen, the list goes on and on. It goes on and on. Okay, here I go again. Okay, nevertheless, let me let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I'm going to bring him to the forefront. <laughs> we're going to have a good time. We ain't here for a long time, but we're going to have a good time with Mr. Marquel Jordan. Oh, my God. If that kind of intro, I need you to roll with me everywhere. What you doing next week? Come on. Let's go. Hey, for you, Doc, I will clear my calendar, okay? <laughs> That's what's up. How you doing, Tiffany? I am thankful, and I'm super excited. Can I tell you I'm actually kind of nervous? Oh, no. No, you're not. Yo. You are not nervous. Come on. It's, it's yeah, all am, good. No, see, I'm a little extra, and I can be extra with two X's. There is very, very few men that can see say that they've ever seen the triple X side of me. However, comma... I'm nervous, so I'm trying not to be over the top extra to show how nervous I am, okay? Oh, you're fine. You're good. Don't even worry about it. I mean, let me adjust my headphones. I'm looking all crazy over here. All right. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Inhale, exhale, breathe. All inhale, right. exhale. Can I tell you, you're like super major, dude. Like, oh my gosh, you know how many accomplishments you have? You know what? It's funny because doing this as long as i've been doing it mm -hmm. you you measure your success by your last gig so if your last gig was great you feel good okay. if your last show was terrible you feel horrible so it's really? just like yeah you know so i have to remind myself that it's not about the small little things here and there that's about the whole yeah. journey of course and um yeah so I, i'm trying to embrace that a whole lot more you know okay Okay, how are you embracing it? What is your embrace like now? Because you said, you know, you kind of you're you kind of base yourself off of your last gig, so to speak. So with that being said, how are you feeling right now? I feel good. I feel good. Uh, good things are happening, um, and 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 people are reaching out to me. Like this is what's been happening a little bit lately. People actually reaching out to me like unsolicited. Just like like they're cold calling me. Like mm -hmm. I heard your song on the radio and it's amazing, mm -hmm. kind of thing. So 
that that lets me know it's yeah it's getting it's getting through it's getting through you know but we always it's always like you know musicians are like athletes so Okay. We'll take the victory, but then we look at the at the stat sheet and we're like, well, I could have shot three pointers better, or I could have did this or did that better. So it's you that's that's really look at it like that for real. Yeah. I mean, I think the people that are really successful, mm-hmm. they record themselves every show, they videotape themselves every show, and then they listen and they're very, very critical about okay. what they hear. And okay. that's what they make improvements on, you know, like people that really, really like live and die for this stuff. I'm not saying I'm that person yet. I'm working on it. It's the yet it. though. You yeah. still got a yet, but I heard it though. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got to. I was going to say, I hate that person. It ain't going to never happen. It, it's going to happen. It's happening. It's a process. So. See, I love the positivity. Can I tell you, I appreciate the BU. I like oh, that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It, it's just cut off. You can't see the rest of it, but it's like, they'll adjust. Absolutely. You got that right. <laughs> so, yeah. I love that shirt. I tell you that. So, listen, I got a question for you. Sure. You have worked with some super, super amazing and major people, like chart topping people. Mm-hmm. You are a front runner now. What does that feel like? That part of it feels surreal. Like mm-hmm. to be on stage with like Kirk Whalem. Yeah. Or like there was one time we did uh, uh I, when we were with Culbertson mm-hmm. uh, and it was Napa Valley getaway, we, we were on stage with Faith Evans. And I'm like, uh-huh. I just I, felt like going up and doing like, bad boy, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> Dude, I almost I, walked away. <laughs> right. But you know, it's just like people that you grew up looking at, um, yeah. admiring, aspiring to be like, wanting to talk to or just share the same space with. Yeah. I'm in those spaces now. So and people look at me in that same way. So mm-hmm. that's the part of it that's very surreal. It's just like, yeah, yeah I'm standing next to the man, but I ain't, I'm not the man yet. Like, you know. <laughs> but, but you are. Exactly. That's but you thing. real life are. I mean, like, seriously, what I seen you, I don't care. How, how many, first of all, first of all, mm-hmm. first of all, how many instruments do you play? <laughs> truthfully, truthfully, well, uh-huh. only, only two. Okay. So saxophone and vocals, like yeah. like the like the title says. Okay. But um, those those are the two that I feel most comfortable with. Uh-huh. Um, I play a little keyboards, but very little, just enough to write. Um, okay. and then I play percussion. Like that's something if I worked on it heavily, mm-hmm. you know, I would I would feel real comfortable doing it. I mean, I I did it on stage with Brian all those years. So mm-hmm. yeah, because I- that's why I'm about to tease you. Right. Because I started calling you Oom. <laughs> Because you are right. the one man band, my G. That's right. That's right. I forgot all about that. That's right. I ain't gonna let you forget that. Every time I turned around, you was up. You got the ding ding. Next thing you know, you got you a tambourine. Yeah. Next thing you know, you sing it. Next thing I'm like, how many cotton picking instruments does this mofo play? Right, right. I mean, it, and it got to be fun after a while. Like you know, yeah. and, and partly because my father. Um, he played growing up, he played uh congas and stuff. Okay. Like my my grandfather, um, mm-hmm. I never met him uh mm-hmm. because of family issues, of course. Guess, like yeah. so okay. um, but my father's father was a flamenco dancer and a drummer. So oh. my dad wanted to be like him, uh-huh. and then I wanted to be cool like my pop, so that it just kind of went, went down off. the line like that. It's yeah. Go yeah. That's I, I just learned something new. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> you are a mess, man. I swear. <laughs> Shh, don't tell everybody. Okay. Not even sh- sh- all right. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Yo, how many albums do you have out now? I know for sure. No, four. No, three, three actually. Three. three. Um, three solo albums. Mm-hmm. I've the first one was entitled Catalyst. That's coming yep. up on the 10th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Um, which is crazy to think about, like that that came out ten years ago. That's how fast time is just right. Flying. And then, um, then there was a long hiatus, uh-huh. and then I put out my second record in uh, 2019, which is Intention and Purpose. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then uh, last year, I released uh, my current record, which is All We Have Are Moments. Yeah, why was the long hiatus? Why? Uh, that first one was I had left Coberson's band, and mm-hmm. then he asked me to come back. Mm-hmm. right around the time that I released the record. And I had planned on, you know, that was my first project that took forever to get it done. 
-hmm. I didn't know what I was doing in, in many aspects. So I was figuring out a method and a process of which to record and, and do all of that stuff. So when I went back with Brian, mm -hmm. um, that made it a challenge because then he worked on a record. So okay. we did a live record and then we did a studio record and then mm -hmm. we did a bus tour and it was just taking all the time away from me doing my own personal thing. Okay. Much so much to the point where I actually had to leave again mm -hmm. so I could focus on getting that record done. Okay. So that's exactly what I did. And then I wound up going back again. Um, mm -hmm. After the just the whole yo yo, just teeter tottering, huh? Yeah, See, so. we we stopping that though. That's that's gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first. You it know, stops today. <laughs> it stops. You get me in trouble. Today. You know, hold on. Mm, no. Hold on. No, nah, I'm just messing with you. I mess with you. But oh, but now, now that I'm doing what I'm doing, and and like this 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 record that just came out was really a breakthrough record for me. Uh -huh. Um, you know, I got to ride with that energy, and I'm not getting any younger. Uh, we all know black don't crack, but it definitely puff up. <laughs> so it's and up for me. <laughs> and yep, and and turns gray. So you know, I mean, if I had a few more years left, yeah. um, and behind me as opposed to in front of me, you know, um, I probably would continue on doing that tour. But I think it was great to go back after the pandemic to get reacquainted. Yeah. Um, with the audience and tour and do all of those things and then release a record all around the same time. Yeah. But, you know, now I, I definitely need to focus on just doing me. So that's, that's primarily what I'm going to be doing. I got you and you do a good job at being you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, guess what? What's up? You are a whole married man. Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, How I'm, different is marriage from dating? Um, this is my second marriage. Uh -huh. So what's different about it is I'm different. You know, true. Boy, right, let me get some more water. Listen, go you ahead. Know, that, I think that's that's really the the most important thing is that um, and I've been telling people a lot lately, um, mm -hmm. you know, and no disrespect to uh my first marriage, mm -hmm. but um what I've been saying lately is I know my wife, like, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and I think a lot of times when we get married, when we're younger mm -hmm. or we get married, you know, quickly, so to speak, mm -hmm. we don't oh, really I know. know yeah. Well, uh, you don't really know who we married. We don't really know, you know, you, you kind of discover that stuff along the way. Mm -hmm. Enough time was taken uh, to where I really, really truly feel like I know my wife. Of course, there's going to be some things come up sure. that I'll do or that she'll do or how we discover each other and how our personalities change that, mm -hmm. you know, that'll test that statement. But at the same time, you know, this is the most comfortable, the most relaxed, the most peaceful, the most at ease I've been yeah. as an adult. Okay. That's real talk. Like uh -huh. I, you know, I stress out about my career and maybe family stuff, mm -hmm. but like my marriage, I don't mm -hmm. stress out about it at all. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you make me want to go ahead and boo up for a boot up, boo up. No. <laughs> you gotta do it. It's it's you know, it's funny because now that it's happened, um, and I kind of worked on the stuff that I needed to work on. Yeah. And I was like, damn, why didn't I do this sooner? But <laughs> if you'd have told me that, you know, earlier on, I'm like, sure. nah, let me wait and see. So yeah, um, but yeah, everything is everything in that regard is lovely. And it's just been, it's really only been it'll be a year in October. So That's it's a few months. Yeah, yeah, it's a few months and it's gone by really quickly. And it feels like mm -hmm. you know, it's been a honeymoon the entire time. So oh, so oh, we I like yeah. Man, continue. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. every day for the rest of them, you know. <laughs> I love that. I too. I like the fact that you said you guys may have some ups and downs, but it's discovery phase. Can I tell you that has been since you said that little statement? Part, I don't even realize you said it. Uh, but when I tell, that is so beautiful because when we get into our little tiffs, ups and downs, highs and lows, whatever, it's mm -hmm. still a discovery phase because none of them are the same. We right. may hold on to some stuff, but none of it's the same. But it's still a discovery phase. I don't care how old you get. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, that is dope. I absolutely like what's the best part of being married? Oh and me hunching. Uh wait a minute. What'd you say? What's the second part of that? What'd you say? 
I said, and don't talk about hunching. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Yo, you, you crazy, man. No, the best thing, I know I got a partner that's got my back for oh. life, for whatever. You know, that. so that that's the best part. Like, and you know, and then I had to learn too, because yeah, um, you know, when you have tips or arguments and stuff. Mm-hmm. I take a lot of that stuff personal. I hold on to a lot of stuff. Yeah. And then I had to realize it's like, okay, it's just a moment. It's like you are arguing for a second uh-huh. and it's over. So again, that's a work in progress. But at the same time, stuff that used to bother me or the way it would bother me and the intense time yeah. period of it, all of that stuff has got uh-huh. me. Do you, you diffuse know. stuff easily or you want to fester on it? You hold grudges. Uh, you know, I think it's a Scorpio trait. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, but, but seriously, no, I, I, I'm really work on not doing that. And when I find myself doing it, then that means, okay, I need to talk about it some more instead of kind of just holding on to it and, you know, Uh and, and letting it turn into something that it really isn't, you know, because everything, the thing that I really also know in my older age is that most of the stuff you pissed about is. It ain't the other person. It's usually you. It's you, right? It's and usually the, like the fact you that you can be blown enough to admit that, though, right? <laughs> for for some, if they will, right, right, yeah. right. You know, and and then maybe not always in the moment you admit that, but mm-hmm. if you can come to that at some point and just know, like, dude, really, okay, who are you mad at? Right. Or first, why are you mad? And right. okay, so that's why you're mad. Mm-hmm. So who's responsible for that? Mm-hmm. Is it you? Uh huh her is it them is it the music industry is it mm-hmm. whatever and, mm-hmm. and what i just find is that a lot of times the stuff that i've done and the things that i'm really really angry about mm-hmm. those things kind of manifest itself in some way where it looks like somebody else is doing it or right. has done it to you but they really it's really just an extension of your own stuff dude that's dope you better be grown oh yeah. the baby don't grow up oh. <laughs> There you go again. You crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll chill. I promise you. I'll, t- I'll try yeah. to chill. Yeah. How does it feel for you? What is your one of your on one of your songs, one of your albums, you reach like number three on the billboard. Now if, oh, if yeah. you've been higher than that, I apologize. No, no, that was the highest um single thus yeah. far. That was uh uh song that featured Brian Culverson. Actually, mm-hmm. shout out to Brian uh-huh. and also shout out to the original writer of the song and producer his name is uh chris big dog davis he's based out he's based out of uh connecticut really Uh cool brother um so that felt amazing but you know it it was what's crazy about it it simultaneously felt amazing and then it simultaneously felt like well oh man i didn't reach i got to the finals but i didn't win the chip you know because the yeah the goal was number one Okay. And and to make it to three mm-hmm. with a song that was on the charts or like, you know, just I'm I'm, I'm going to dive deep in the woods for a second. But, dive deep, doc. Dive deep. So like a single working for radio, let's say smooth jazz radio, which is the genre that this song was in. Mm-hmm. Like they really only give you like three months to work a song. Okay. And then after that, the radio promoter be like, yo, that's it. So we mm-hmm. got homie. OK. You know unless radio stations start picking it up and you get some momentum so i was at about 13 weeks three months mm-hmm. and uh the song was just kind of sitting there and then mm-hmm. one station picked it up uh-huh. uh same station that um is affiliated with the sea breeze jazz festival okay. so once they picked it up which uh my radio promoter told me that was a ch- that was going to be a challenge to get once they picked it up then the song had another three months of life and in that second three months is when it went to number three so that never happens song doesn't live on radio for six months it's just too much competition Uh and uh there's too many songs that come out and then there's too many established artists that come out so those Uh slots get taken like all right oh who's not spinning we're not spinning that joint that much let's get rid of that Uh pull this in and then you know that was it so the fact that it carried that momentum for that long and so many yeah. people enjoyed it. And then the bigger victory was that it wound up being the fifth most played single 
um, the year-end chart for Billboard. So it was the you fifth most played song of 2020. Oh, what that feel like? Look at you. You want to stick your chest out a little bit, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that, that, that was <laughs> See, that you, one was cool. you. Yeah. It was you being you. Yeah. They started adjusting. And what happened? You just kept on climbing on the charts. Exactly. That is amazing that you stuck into being who you are, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard, um, especially, yeah. um, you know, in this industry or in any entertainment industry to, mm -hmm. to, to, to be true to who you are. Yeah. And, and, and not get caught up in, well, I should sound more like this person okay. so I could have that success. Like that mm -hmm. success is for them. Mm -hmm. figure yeah. out what success means for you. Yeah. And again, that, you know, I'm sitting here talking all this stuff. It's a process. It's a journey. I'm mm -hmm. still trying to figure it out, you know, okay. because uh, subsequent singles that I released after that, um, mm -hmm. cause it's the best record that I've done. And mm -hmm. that's the, the response that I've gotten from everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, musicians, fans, radio, everybody has kind of mm -hmm. responded that way, but obviously the singles, the other two singles didn't do as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, ah, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you, you want to do good every time out, you know, yeah. you, you want to, you want to hit a home run every time out and that's right. just impossible, but you got to swing for them damn fences though. So. Swinging for it, but you're yeah. trying. That's yeah. the beautiful thing. Cause some people don't do it. And the fact that you did it, that, that's amazing. And that's one more individual that gets the opportunity to know about you and hear yes. your greatness. I love yeah. it. The fact that you tried. So thank you. See, I think you just inspired me a little bit. Thank you, Tiffany. Oh. Appreciate it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I just felt the need to push a little harder, but I'm grateful for that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Like, I'm serious. Because as you were saying, oh, like I was shooting for it. But as I'm listening to you, it's like, I wanted to do number one, but I got no you were in the top three you're in the big three mm -hmm. so like even in the big three we're always going to be remembering who that was you know yeah. like hey oh you remember we went to the finals and you you remember those guys so like yeah, yeah. thank you <laughs> there you go there you thank go. you there you go you anytime so anytime yeah, that's what i do no doc because you're gonna start charging no i'm okay <laughs> No, hey, I'm all right. multiple streams of income. We got to make that happen too. So. I, yeah, I'm trying to make the happen, not you trying to take it. Hold on. <laughs> right. Favorite album that you have done or been on? This last one, hands down. Um, Yours though. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Um, but for someone else, mm -hmm. I would say, because I, I've had other projects that I've been involved with, mm -hmm. but I think. My favorite, probably because of what it represented. There's a, a really good brother. We share the same birthday here in Chicago. Okay. Um, he's a DJ producer. His name is DJ INC. Okay. And I've, I've worked with him for over 20 years. And mm -hmm. when I was starting to talk about doing my first solo album, mm -hmm. um, and that, took, that was a process in and of itself, too. Right. Um, he was like, hey, man, I got a couple of songs for the record. Okay. Um, and it turned out he had 10 songs. And oh, so we recorded all a couple, huh? No, I mean, you know, once he got going, it was you know. <laughs> and plus his thought process was that he's not gonna like all 10 of these, you know. So I got a couple for you, right? Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. I recorded all 10. Mm -hmm. And he was, you know, I was just telling him, you know, I was having writer's block, whatever that was, and that I didn't really feel motivated to do my record. And then mm -hmm. I realized that we had a record. Okay. So as a thanks from him, he okay. wound up putting that record out. It was, it was, oh. it was released, not that many physical copies is mm -hmm. you can digitally download it anywhere mm -hmm. now, but it came out around 2010 okay. and it's uh Marquel Jordan DJ INC sounds okay. cool. That record is really kind of a template for what I became as an artist. It let me know okay. like, okay, I can do this from start to finish instead mm -hmm. of, being featured on this song or singing oh. on this person's record yeah. or doing this kind of stuff. Like this was, this is all me and uh -huh. him collaborating 10 yeah. songs from start to finish. And then when I listened to the final product and I didn't really have anything to do, I wasn't involved in the mixing, okay, okay. The mastering, nothing like okay. only on two songs. And then I had to bounce and go on the uh, Capital Jazz Cruise. Okay. So you're always going somewhere. Right. Right. You, you ain't never at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> or not, actually it was before that um, okay. because I was able to sell it on the Capital Jazz Cruise because um, mm-hmm. it got packaged up right in time. Gotcha. And um, when I heard it, you know, and heard the stuff that I couldn't like maniacally control myself, mm-hmm. I was like, this stuff is great. This is yeah. great. So for the potential, that record is probably my favorite that I've done outside of just my own thing and everything else, which is mm-hmm. still sounds a little uh, <laughs> narcissistic, but it's whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. You can all go stick your chest out when you talk about that. Go right. ahead. Right, right, right. No, but it's, it's cool. Yeah. Okay. How do we follow you and how do we get a hold of your music? Um, the music you can find, um, if you'd like a physical copy of mm-hmm. the latest record and the, the, the album um, prior to that one, mm-hmm. uh, you can get that directly from me on my website. It's the only place you can get it. So what's that yep, website? It's Marquel Jordan, M-A-R-Q-U-E-A-L-J-R-D-A-N.com. Okay. Um, and if you just want a physical down or a, I'm sorry, not a physical download, but a download or stream mm-hmm. it. You can get that in all the digital stores. Come through it. Yeah. But uh, follow me. You can follow me on IG. Yeah, stop it. All right. You can follow me on IG, which is at Marquel Jordan. Um, I just deactivated my Twitter account. I, I think I had enough of that. Um, Twitter's so fun. Twitter is yeah, so fun. I couldn't do it no more. It just so I was waking up every morning and just feeling like I was ready to like go to war with somebody. I was just like, okay, I can Turn it off. Take my off. energy is going. So, mm-hmm. so IG, um, and then on Facebook, uh, my music page is Marquel Jordan Music. Same okay. spelling um, as all of my, as my first name is. And uh, if I actually do TikTok, we'll see. <laughs> I will we'll come back, and you can put that in this interview later. <laughs> gotcha. So, do you have a TikTok now, or? You know what? I've had the app downloaded for almost two years and has n- I haven't set up an account. I can't even really, the only way I even see TikTok is when people actually send me TikTok. And then I'll hit the link and then I'll be like, yo, it goes sign up. Yeah, nah, nah. It'll be like, you got to sign up to see this, homie. So instead, I'll just go back and be like, hey, man, I can't see it. Can't see it. Just send it to me. To show me, to do whatever you got to do so I can see it. Look, man, we're going to meet up for lunch. Let me see right. your ball. <laughs> Right. Screen record this doc and send it to me. Right. Download it. Exactly. So it'll it'll be TikTok and then maybe um I'll get on um Isaac Hayes the third's uh his platform, which is fan base, which I've been contemplated doing for a while, but I need need to get a little more content before I launch that one. But yeah. You, sure you ain't got the content already. Yeah, everybody says that, but then when I start looking, I think, nah, I don't not. You it's might be your own holdback. You might have a lot of content already. Yeah. And who's to say when you start on it, you don't get inspired and create fresh stuff? Because it's a full-time job and being a musician is a full-time <laughs> job too. And a newlywed and a father. It's just like it, it all starts to back up on you. It's like, okay, so what did I get in this for? To create content or mm-hmm. to get better as a musician and create music? Like, it's Didn't just, you just tell me all great musicians don't record all of what they do? Yeah, they do. They do. But, but okay, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I'm not I, I hear you. a lot of excuses. That's what I hear, friend. Okay. <laughs> all right. Get on on it. Okay. Thank you. Play with me if you want to. I'll done find one of these apps and be like, so did you get on it yet? <laughs> right, right. So see, now you now I'm gonna have to pay you. You giving me <laughs> advice. See? See how that works? Okay, fair because just did a barter robbery. thing. You just did. <laughs> fair there you go. No robbery. Mm-hmm. I got you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that was cute. That was real cute. So we're about to go towards the end of the show, right? Yeah. There's a wonderful little game. Wonderful is what I was trying to say. Wonderful little game I like to play called this or that, right? Okay. So with the this or that game, I ask you a question, and then you got to give me your answer and tell me why you chose that. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah. First question, ability to travel travel without a passport or the ability to read minds? Wait a minute, say that again. <laughs> you said the ability. You, you have oh. the ability to travel without a passport or you have the ability to read minds. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's the <laughs> oh, the ability to read minds. Oh, okay. And I can get it. I can get mine. a passport. That's that's easy. But so I can... you're traveling without one. So how far are you going to be able to go? You can't go nowhere. You don't got one. Exactly. And if I could if I could read minds, then I can know how to proceed in every situation, how to manipulate some situations to my you benefit. Hey, it, it, this is just a, a hypothetical. So truth, I got you. <laughs> but I did ask you the question, so I got right. you. Right. I ain't, I am not crucifying you or judging you for. It. Okay. okay, okay, gotcha. Second question: In the front lines of a crisis, or help from the background? Ooh, wow. Um, for what I would like to be, mm -hmm. front line. Okay. Um, because I feel like, you know, I feel like that's where the real heroism is. And that's where the real people who take chances and they're not thinking about themselves, the selfless, that's where they are. Um, but my personality type and, and who I am, the re the more realistic answer to that is, is help from the hot sidelines, you okay. know? Okay. Um, you ain't doing background stuff no more, though. Mm -hmm. That's why you got so many albums now. <laughs> Nevertheless, so... <laughs> Third question. Mm -hmm. Be feared by all or loved by all? Oh, loved by all. That's that's easy. That's <laughs> easy. That's easy. Um, you want to be loved by everybody. Can't you have somebody that's just not going to like you and be like, ugh. Oh, they, they exist. Marquel. No, Marquel. Oh, see. You know, they, like, see, just <laughs> stuff like that. You know what? They're mm -hmm. out there. I Luckily, I don't run into them that much. Okay. Uh, but I know there are people out there that don't necessarily dig me, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, but I've always wanted to be loved or liked um, ever since I was a shorty. Uh -huh. So I think that's my default, you know, to a fault sometimes, you know, sure. um, because when you want to be loved by everybody, then you want to be a people pleaser and you please everybody except for yourself. So there's it's a fine line with that. Okay. But I'd rather have that energy out there though. That's that's a better energy to deal with and, and to navigate through life um, is with love as opposed to fear. I mean, we all need a little love. What mm -hmm. the world needs now is love's love. Okay, I quit. You gonna give me a love song? What's a song that you can think of off the top of your head? Love, got love in it. Uh, that ooh. prayer that you just did. Lord. Come oh, on, God, God. I'm all alone in my room. I need love. Come on. You know what? The first thing that I thought of was Love's Holiday, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, see? Why did it take you so long? Because <laughs> I, I know a million songs. That, yeah. that's, that's, that's the problem. And, and trying to narrow it down to one is, is hard. But, yeah, yeah. but it was just a song. It had love in it. You could have been said, Jesus loves the little children. <laughs> right. Could have. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, I I'm gonna I'm gonna get you again, okay? Yep. Get you again. I don't know where. Tell me this. What's you get the final thought? What's what's the final thought from you that you want the world to know? Hmm. Uh. I love the hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I always want to get it right, so I always think first before I start speaking. Makes um, sense. But the hmm. thing that I would love for people to know about me is that um, I'm a human. You know. And I, this is a work in progress. Yeah. And when you, where you see me now is not where I'm eventually going to be. Okay. Um, and just to, you know, if, if you decide to, to be alone for the journey, know that it's just that, a journey, you know, that I'm, I'm not gonna always make music the way I make it now. I'm not gonna always have a viewpoint that I have now. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I guess what I would leave with people is to have grace for those folks that you have in your life because they they change. They're not the same people. And if they were the same people, you probably wouldn't like them. Right. You know, or you would be bored by them fairly easily if they're that predictable or they didn't improve themselves. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think people need to be patient with each other and, and yeah. with themselves. So. Be patient and have some grace. I mm -hmm. love that. Oh. There you go again. I'm not at that. That's a paid thought. Wow. <laughs> not talking to you no more, sir. Okay. All right.
<laughs> You're making me think here. I keep a notepad right here. I'm just telling you this now. Okay. I ain't got to write it down this time. It's recorded. So, okay. Uh-huh. I That's what's it. up. Thank you. Well, Thanks thank for having you. me. I so, so, so appreciate you. Thank you for adding to your resume, being on the Hear My Heart show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for allowing my heart to be heard. See, it's, 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 it's a good thing. Thank you. Oh, it's very good. So with that being said, again, thank you. Everyone that is tuning in, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for sharing some of your time with me and my VIP. So thank you also for sharing. I really appreciate all that. So uh, tune in next week when I'll be on the same Hear My Heart channel at the same Hear My Heart time. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Grace and peace.